Hi everyone, I'm Maxim and I'm here today to talk to you about two very common digital manufacturing techniques that you can see or use in most of the fab labs or maker spaces around the globe. That is 3D printing on one side and CNC milling on the other. So first and foremost, to understand how those two machines are working, you need to understand how they move, right? So I'm going to do a very quick geometry recap in order for you to follow for the rest of the video. So when we are in a plane, let's say like this blackboard, and I represent an object in two dimensions, like a square, I need to reference it, right? This is a frame of reference, very often with two axes named X and Y. We talked about 3D printers, so it means we need to add a third dimension. And by adding a third axis, which is often called Z, we now have a 3D dimensional space in which we can reference any point of any object. So that's cool. With this reference, now we have this three axis frame of reference, and we can use it to send instructions to our machine to make it move wherever we want in 3D. Those instructions are actually called G code. So G code is a language, a pretty old one actually. It was invented in the late 50s uh, in order to help operators to control the very first one uh, automatic machines. So it gained popularity again now because it became the standard language to send instructions to make 3D printers and CNC milling machines move. So I'm going to get in depth a little bit for this G-code in, in order for you to understand uh, how it works exactly. So here you can see again we have our three axis frame of reference, x, y, and z. Z is pointing up this time, this is a standard convention. Um, here is our tool, um, here I draw uh, the printhead of a 3D printer, and this is the one which is going to move in different directions, okay, in our 3D space. And that's my window, so my computer, my software, in which I'm going to send those instructions to the machine. Let's start. I'm going to write a basic one, G01 X10. Alright, what does this mean? It's actually pretty simple. J stands for G code. It's a movement command. That's very simple. O1 is the first command. This O1 actually means straight line. I just want my machine to go straight. But in which direction? You guessed it. Along the X axis, so along this direction, from 10 units. So basically my print head is just going to go like this from 10 millimeter. If you're from the US, it might be 10 inches, but it's the same concept, of course. So, now you guessed it. Let's try something else, like G01, Z5. So this time, what is it going to do? Well, G01 still straight, along the Z axis, from 5 units up, 5 millimeter. And this O1 common is called linear interpolation, actually, So, which, which means that if you want to go from this point up to this point, straight, you simply go with the same command, but adding the two coordinates together, just like you would add two vectors in mathematics. That's pretty fairly simple. If you want to make circles, you start with GO2, that's a circular interpolation, and so on and so forth. So that is G code, and this is as simple as that, how a 3D printer is moving in the space.